Hey everyone, I have to turn it on over there and run over here. So I'm gonna share a few things with you today um, and I'm gonna split this video into two because I always get really long. So the fun thing that I'm gonna tell you is that um, this is gonna be the dinner lunch portion, but then I have some really great, healthy, low sugar, keto friendly snacks. So my goal is today to kind of do a keto friendly meal prep and I do not follow a keto diet. I don't know it very well, but I did do a little reading and did try to make all my prep this week keto friendly for my keto friendly people just to give you maybe some inspiration and some ideas, new things to try out and to see how our products do um, in terms of integrating them into a keto diet. I'm also going to link a set of keto friendly um, products saying how many carbs they have. So let's get started. So the first thing I'm gonna share with you is asparagus soup. Um, I made this, I bought one of those giant bags of asparagus at Costco. And uh, I often will buy those when they're, when asparagus comes into season, cause I do love it. And then I get really excited and I buy this huge bag and then I find it like kind of all slimy <laughs> cause I haven't used it quickly enough. So I was pretty proud of myself. Made the decision to make some asparagus soup. Um, I used half of that very big Costco bag to make the soup. This has got um, coconut cream, not milk, not the kind that you replace your dairy milk with, but the kind that comes in a can, the full fat one, as the cream base. Um, and it has our chicken broth as the chicken broth. Um, this one does have two grams of carbohydrates per one and a half teaspoons. Now to make the broth you use, sorry, I just passed it. Um, you use one and a half teaspoons into a cup of boiling water. So I think I used four cups to make this. So you could do the math and kind of work out how many carbs. It's relatively low, but it's not zero carbs for sure. So I used that. I also um, ran out of garlic and my onion had gone a little yucky. So I actually used these instead of fresh onion and garlic. These are a little carby. Um, I am surprised, I didn't know you have carbs in minced garlic and toasted onion. So these are both, um, the ingredients in this one is garlic, the ingredients in this one is onion. So that's all that's in them, but it does say that there is three grams of carbohydrates per teaspoon of the garlic, and there are two grams per teaspoon of the onion. So I'm not sure if that makes a difference if they're fresh, that you might wanna investigate for yourself, but that's what I used for the asparagus soup. The next thing I did was I decided to make a kind of salad niçoise style prep so that I could just throw these things together and have a really healthy lunch. So I steamed the rest of the asparagus. So I didn't really fully steam it. I kind of uh, blanched it. So it's still like, it's not crunchy, crunchy, but it's, it's not um, super soft either. And so I've got that to, so, sorry, I should say, I'll start, I'm gonna use a bed of lettuce because I know that's not always traditional in salad as but just a way to get that extra greens in. And I'll top it with my, some a few spears of asparagus. I've got some olives, <laughs> here are my olives. I just got those ready to go. Um, and the, uh, I, I soft boiled some eggs and stuck a half avocado in here so that those are easy to grab and ready to go. I haven't peeled the eggs because apparently they keep better when you don't peel them right away. So that will be one extra step for a really quick lunch, but I think it's probably better to keep them that way because I don't always eat the things I think I'm gonna eat when I plan. So I think it's better to keep it, it'll last a bit longer. And then finally my tuna, which of course is one of the staples of the salad and was. So um, I actually only had one can of tuna, so I made less than I planned to. And I used um, mayo in here because I do believe mayo is a keto-friendly food. Um, I used avocado oil mayo, mayo. I don't know if that makes a difference for people or not, but it seems to be a healthier alternative. And then to season up the tuna and to give it a little bit of flavor, I used um, the lemon dilly. So this is one of our most popular products. This is a super keto-friendly one. There is no carbs in there. Um, and then obviously, you know, I could throw in some tomatoes or other vegetables in there and you could think about what you know might be a lower carb vegetable you wanna put in. Obviously potatoes are often in salad this was and I think that's out with a keto diet. But if you're not doing keto, you could throw in, you know, pre-boil pre some potatoes and have those ready to go, throw those in too. And that would be really good as well with the lemon dilly. And I didn't make a dressing with the lemon dilly, but I might actually still do that because um, it is great 
uh, with these flavors. And so that might complement everything really well. Um, and I'm just trying to see, what did I see? I'm sure there's a dressing recipe on here. Well, you would just put it with some oil and some vinegar and um, use this as your seasoning. And then um, there you go. So I did make a raspberry vinaigrette though. And I wanted to make a raspberry vinaigrette because I have some raspberries and I love this with salmon. And you'll see later, I have some salmon as well that I'm going to be using um, on top of salads. And so raspberry, I just love raspberry with salmon. This is um, done with our balsamic. So, um, but I, instead of just using olive oil, actually I put in MCT oil um, as well as olive oil. So if you don't know what MCT oil is, it's kind of like that being touted as a brain food or brain octane. Um, people put it in their coffee. Um, it's got lots of really great properties. It's uh, a healthy fat. Um, and then I use apple cider vinegar instead of regular vinegar. And I used a little bit of Dijon. And then I obviously put in the balsamic and then put um, a bunch of raspberries in there. And it was pretty tart because obviously the apple cider vinegar and, you know, raspberries are lovely like on their own. But when in a dressing, they can get quite, or in a sauce, they can get quite tart without some sweetener. So I actually used monk fruit sweetener. This one is a little bit, um, it's got four grams of carbs per teaspoon, but I know people use sweeteners that are a little bit more carb friendly. So you may have one that you know about that would work better than this, but I just wanted to keep that sugar down regardless of the carbs um, that, you know, coming from like an actual sugar or honey or maple syrup. So this is so good. Oh my gosh. I feel like I did not make enough. And as you know, I often don't make a full bottle of dressing because I don't go through that much. And so I'm actually kind of regretting I didn't make more of this one because it's yummy. Um, so the next thing I want to share with you and is my little kind of snack pack or quick grab and go lunch if I happen to need to get off somewhere during the week unexpectedly. So I just prepped some veggies, some ham, took one of my soft boiled eggs and put it in here. And I've got a few of these just ready to go. They're also good for me like when I'm home with the kids and I'm feeding them pasta or something, I can pull one of these out and just eat this and not have to think about prepping something for myself. And I did make a couple dips to go with it. So I've got um, the creamy ranch, which is becoming one of my new favorite dips. I really like it. Um, so I'm just trying to see the carbs. So there's one gram of carbs per half teaspoon of the mix. And I mixed it with, um, what did I put in this one? Greek yogurt. So, um, Greek yogurt, I believe is good for keto. I think it still is sort of carby. <laughs> I don't know. I, but anyway, um, it's, I, I got the impression when I was doing my reading that Greek yogurt was a pretty friendly food for keto diets. So there's a little dip there. And I also made another dip if you wanted to go completely dairy free and you wanted a dip for your veggies. This is a um, cauliflower um, hummus. So there's no beans in here at all or no, no chickpeas or anything. Um, what it is, is I steamed some cauliflower. I got some tahini, some lemon, uh, some raw garlic, which is where I used up the garlic that I wanted for my uh, asparagus soup and put it into a food processor and um, threw in a little bit of cumin and uh, just a, a touch of curry to give it a little bit of flavor in there. And, you know, cauliflower will just take on those flavors really nicely. Um, and then I also used our turmeric black pepper and our herbed garlic um this is pepper <laughs> this is sea salt <laughs> so the turmeric and black pepper the turmeric is not in here for flavor at least in my opinion i i don't feel like turmeric is a flavor i need to add to things but um turmeric and black pepper work together so it the the anti-inflammatory properties of turmeric are um activated with the cursamen i think it is in the black pepper so I don't use this for turmeric flavor. I use it as my only black pepper and I put it into everything I would put regular black pepper into. I don't taste the turmeric in it. So I figured why not just make this my main pepper since it's got all these great properties and you can have a look at turmeric, Google it. It People think it's the greatest thing since the last superfood, but it does seem to be really good. Um, and then the herbed garlic is uh, a sea salt blend. So it's basically sea salt, garlic, a touch of parsley. I think there might be a few other herbs in there. And anything that's good with garlic um, that you're going to put salt on, I use this one instead of my regular sea salt because 
Um, the garlic obviously just gives it a really nice little flavor. So this is a really nice one to have. I do believe these are both sold out at the moment if you're watching this in mid-June. So I apologize for talking about something you might be interested in that's not currently available. But keep it in mind when it does come back into stock. These are great. I keep them on my stove. I just use them constantly. Um, and the last thing I'm going to show you before I switch over to the um, snacks and dessert menu is the baked salmon that I did. Um, so I just thought I would have the salmon ready to go. We could throw it onto salads. Um, I could maybe steal some of my asparagus, make some quick meals out of it. And uh, for to season this, I use the seafood and fish seasoning. And this one is um, a better alternative than the other ones we have at the moment, which are specific for salmon. We have a beautiful salmon rub, which has got like that smoky, I want to say alderwood kind of flavor to it. So good. It has a little cane sugar in it, so it wouldn't work for a keto friendly. We also have a um, O Canada, it's called, and it's like a maple uh, rub seasoning. And it's delicious as well. It's fantastic on salmon, but it does have that maple sugar in it a little bit. Um, so not very keto friendly. This one obviously has just herbs, lemon, onion, black pepper, spices, and herbs. So this one was much more friendly and has zero carbohydrates in it. So those are all my lunches and dinners um, and kind of snacky things. I'm going to do a separate video now to show you some, oh my gosh, this dessert. I am so excited about it. It's healthy and it's like low sugar. And my snack could actually be a breakfast. It's so healthy, but it tastes more like a dessert. So watch for my next video and I'll tell you all about those.